Hello guys, good morning from the south of France. Kareem and I just ran to get to this airplane. We navigated the airport and took a bus ride. We found our Airbnb, we met up with our host, and the windows were absolutely beautiful. Kareem and I made it to Nice, and it is so pretty, it is so gorgeous. Like, look at this view. I cannot get it up. The fact that I get to wake up to this is insane. Like, what? And it has two beds, so there's a bed up there, and then there's a bed down here. Ah! Like, how am I here? I was just walking the streets after getting dinner, and I'm just like, how am I in France? Like, just walking in France. This is like, how? This is crazy. I'm... I'm so grateful, very appreciative, and thankful for all of you guys for watching. <sighs> wow. Kim and I, we've been up since 5 a.m. We're planning our day and trying to get everything ready. It's going to be raining for the entire time I'm in Nice as of the weather as of now. So, like, I'm trying to plan what we're going to do these first four days. I want to hit, like... A lot of the smaller cities smaller towns um, that I want to visit so we're gonna do we're gonna have a few jam-packed days After breakfast, Kareem and I explored can a bit and headed on the first train to go to Antibes Antibes was founded by the Greeks in the 5th century BC and it was initially called Antipoli. And I met some South African girls here and they showed us around, which it was so nice to meet some other solo female travelers as Kareem and I have been traveling with just one another. Antibes is mostly famous for its markets, it's famous for its fresh fruits, vegetables, and flowers, its cheese, honey, and jams. Hey guys, so Cream and I were on the wrong side of the train, so we have to walk back on this side. And our train is in into like eight minutes, so hopefully we get there. We are at the train station waiting for our train back to Cannes, and I hope this is the right train. To be honest, because I don't really know if it is, but we'll see right now. We then took the train back to Cannes where we were able to get some lunch because we were actually starving. We walked around until we went back to our Airbnb with our baguettes in our hands. I opened up the doors and just took in my view and my surroundings Then danced around in the kitchen because I am in France and when I think of the French and when I think of France, I think of bread. So this definitely inspired me to get some bread and test it out. And I 10 out of 10 recommend. Bonjour, good evening, good afternoon. Kareem and I just woke up from a nap. We got done exploring Antibes this morning and it was so beautiful and so stunning. We got to see the port, we got to see the old town, and we met a bunch of girls um, from South Africa and they were so, so, so nice. We're gonna go out and explore Cannes and change. we changed our outfit because it's so hot. I was not expecting the weather to change to heat <laughs> and into some like summery clothes. We're excited to go out to explore. I figured we'd go to the beach for the rest of the evening to get Kareem out of the house and to get him to do something that he actually really enjoys, which is spending time at the beach. Kareem and I are at the beach. We're at the Can Beach. We're just here relaxing. I'm going to start journaling and we'll go from there. I was able to catch up on some journaling and just jot down my thoughts for the rest of the day. I then figured, let me take Kareem to the park to get some energy out and then explore Cannes a little bit more. We came across the Cannes Film Festival, which I am a few weeks early, but if I came a few weeks later, I would have seen Zendaya. Once we were back at the Airbnb, it was pretty dark, so we climbed into bed and called it a night. Bonjour, good morning. It is currently Wednesday, May 3rd, and it is half past six. And I'm up already, so it's an early day. I am feeling very tired and a little under the weather a bit, but we're still gonna have a good day today. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna brush my teeth. Kareem is still sleeping, and I'm gonna brush my teeth, do some skincare. So you're gonna get ready with me today. Hey 
guys, I finished my skincare, I've gotten dressed, and I am now ready to start the day. I think I'm going to do some editing while Kareem is still asleep, open up the door, sit outside, and just enjoy the weather, enjoy this slow morning. Um, I might have to iron Kareem's clothes because it, it is a bit, like, wrinkled, so I'll probably do that soon. And then we will head out, get some breakfast. I'm trying to find, we've been eating, like, fast food because I've been trying to try different fast foods from all over the world that we have back in the states but today i think it's time to branch off from fast food and just start eating all the restaurants here so i need to start researching what to eat for breakfast lunch and dinner like now and for the rest of our trip and yeah i do plan to when we get to nice in a week i do plan to do some cooking so let's see how that goes um, but yes, I'm really craving seafood, pasta, just all the goods, and I'm ready to indulge in them. This view is to die for. It's so gorgeous out here and stunning and beautiful, so it's a beautiful day today. I made sure to book accommodation with terraces and balconies because honestly, balconies really inspire me. Balconies remind me of the importance to look outside and connect with something bigger than myself. So I sat on the terrace before Kareem woke up and once he awakened, we went out to get some breakfast. The breakfast was absolutely charming and the little place that we went was, was, was a bit pricey. However, I think it was totally worth it. We then, you guessed it, hopped on a train to go to our next village, Gras. I met two lovely girls from Texas on the train, which we actually traveled with the entire day as we visited the village of Grass. For those of you who don't know, the town of Grass sits in the hills above the more famous French Rivera city of Cannes. And it doesn't have the Mediterranean Sea at its doorstep, but it does have many things like its field of flowers. We are at the Fragnard Perfume, and this is where they make perfumes. And it's so beautiful here. So the girls and I, of course, had to take a perfume making class and we had a free guided walking tour throughout the entire Perfume Fragonard Museum. The machines here, they are called stills. It's simply just... Then all went out to lunch and I hopped on a train back to Cannes. Kareem and I have abandoned the girls we met and are going back to our hotel and we're like walking through, walking down this like beautiful pathway and it's like kind of creepy but also amazing. What happened today? I, I fought every day. Are you okay? Yes. Well that's good, you gotta be I careful. Your knee is hurting. Kareem and I are back at the hostel and it's been such a long day. We explored grass and it was so beautiful. I met two girls. We were able to explore all day together. Kareem loved them. They loved Kareem. Uh, it was very nice to have like some other girls hang out with again because yesterday we hung out with some girls from South Africa and this time they were from Texas. So it was really nice. Um, the food was great. We ate at this small restaurant. Um, it was recommended by our tour guide at the perfume museum. And basically, Grasse is the capital of where they made perfume all those years ago. We're going to stay here for another day. We're going to have a beach day tomorrow and just chill at the beach all day. From Nice, I plan to explore villefranche sur mer the town of S. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we have five days in Nice, four days here. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. We were back at the Airbnb. Kareem just frolicked around the Airbnb and he just really enjoys his open windows and climbing up and down the ladder. So, of course, he wanted me to join him. We then went out for some dinner and some ice cream and walked back to the Airbnb to get some rest and to relax. Kareem and I just got back to the Airbnb, went for ice cream and we got some takeout. And we just finished eating. We're pretty much in for the day. It is, I believe it's. 30 past seven and we're already in the house or in the airbnb but that's fine we'll see what happens tomorrow i'm so full i'm just ready to lay down and just relax i haven't had like a nap a proper nap 
in a while so i'm ready probably go to bed early today and finish some up some work and yeah good morning guys it is may 4th 7 58 and we're gonna go ahead to breakfast i'm not sure what we're gonna eat so we're gonna walk along and see what we can find our plan is to go get breakfast come back to the hotel change into our like swimming suits and stuff and then we're just gonna have a a beach day we're gonna splurge a bit on like a little beach spot with a private at a private beach and a restaurant so that way we don't have to worry about like getting food later on we can just eat at the beach today we decided to explore the other side of can today can just has so much to offer and i'm so happy i made this my base for five days we ate at this key west inspired restaurant and then we went shopping which i told myself i wouldn't do on this trip but i ended up doing it anyways I then went back to the Airbnb where we were able to relax and play around with each other. Oh, I don't pee. I have to poop. I have to my back. Life gets so busy, especially for families and parents, which is why I love spending quality time with my child because children who are spending more quality time with their families are less likely to participate in risky behaviors. And I just like to show my child that I love and care for him to help keep him mentally and emotionally strong. I also like to reinforce positive behaviors with my appreciation. There's a lot of things I like to do while traveling to make sure that we keep a set routine. With that being said, Cream and I decided to go out and go to a beach club. and friends with my little tiny human just feel so therapeutic and liberating almost feel free it's just a wonderful feeling on our walk we saw a bunch of different designer stores some beautiful trees and i fell in love with can all over again we arrived at the beach club after being lost we finally found it and just sat down to relax for a bit kareem and i are at this beach club it's called annex and it's so pretty we're not on the beach because i didn't want to splurge too too much but we are like next row behind the beach and it's just a short walking distance kareem is currently just playing in the sand and having a good time we're gonna order some food because i'm really hungry so we get to just chill here at the beach club Kareem and I got back to the hotel. My food is done. My pizza is done warming up. But Kareem and I got back to the hotel about an hour and a half ago. Um, we went to the beach club, as you guys saw, and it was so fun. We were able to just chill. We were there for about five hours. We got to the beach club at one, and we ended up leaving around like six. It is now almost eight. Been here. We took a shower. We took a bath. I cleaned up the entire. I cleaned up everything and then preparing to leave. The train station is luckily like two minutes away from a two minute walk from our hotel. So I can just hop on a train right to Nice and then it's like a 12 minute walk from my new Airbnb. Good morning. It is our last day here in Cannes and we are going to go to Starbucks this morning before we head out to Nice. We're gonna go to Starbucks and we're gonna come back here and then we're gonna head to Nice by train at 1046 and then we're gonna go to our um, Airbnb, get settled there and I think I'm gonna find a hair, a barber shop for Kareem to get his hair cut because he needs one. I uh, gotta bring my shoes in here, I just saw them right now, I would've forgot them. Let me give you guys a proper tour of our Airbnb. It's not messy, I cleaned yesterday but our stuff is like on the couch. You no, know, we wear our same travel outfit every time we travel, but it's so hot and I might have to take this sweater off. Kareem and I are just waiting for the time. It is 
9 30 our train leaves at 10 40 but the train station is literally a two minute walk from our airbnb so we are going to just wait until 10 because checkout's at 10 anyway so we're gonna wait until 10 walk over and just stay in the train station for like 30 minutes and just sit there and wait until our train i get confused with um what platforms we're supposed to be on for the trains yeah i'll get there early figure out which platform we're supposed to be on i think i know but yeah so we'll see what happens and let's get this vlog started